Hi there, I'm James Sherwood, the Director of Healthcare Management for Bupa UK Insurance. I'm going to talk about how the healthcare system is now better prepared for a second wave and the outlook for private services over the coming month. Whilst the NHS was under huge pressure in the first wave of the crisis, hospitals coped without having to make extensive use of the extra capacity in the Nightingale hospitals and the independent sector. Since then, lots of changes have been introduced and the healthcare system is now much better prepared. Hospitals have the PPE they need, more ventilators are available, rigorous patient and staff testing programs have been introduced, and hospitals have now established COVID secure pathways to keep traditional services safe and open. An understanding of the virus has also improved, enabling more effective management and treatment of patients. So the healthcare system is undoubtedly better prepared for this second wave. Plus, the government has taken action to control the spread of the virus much earlier in the cycle. Tiered restrictions were introduced in early October and a new national lockdown was introduced on the 5th of November. On the introduction, in the introduction of the new national lockdown, the number of daily hospital COVID admissions were running at roughly half the level there were in the first wave and the number of patients in hospital with COVID were roughly 20% lower than at the same point in the, in the first wave. Now there are regional differences with some regions, particularly in the North, more badly affected. But overall, across the UK, action is being taken much sooner to slow the spread of the virus. We're already seeing a slowing in the rate of new cases and hospital admissions. And this is really encouraging. Assuming the social distancing measures are effective, I am cautiously optimistic that services in both the NHS and in the independent sector will be less affected this time around. Now, whilst the healthcare system is better prepared for a second wave of COVID, we must recognise that the, the disruption to other healthcare services over the past six months has had major consequences. The NHS waiting list of elective procedures is estimated to have doubled, there is a backlog in national screening programmes and diagnosis of conditions such as cancer for many patients has been missed or delayed. More NHS work in the independent sector will not erode the value of private healthcare. Our customers will continue to have much faster access to care and access to a broader range of services such as out of licence drugs that are not funded in the NHS. Whilst customers may be sitting next to an NHS funded patient in an independent hospital, they would have greatly benefited from private healthcare. Well, currently, customers have good access to healthcare services. Now, we've also been seeing the signs of a catch up in care journeys that have been delayed or deferred in previous months. Now, that has slowed in the past couple of weeks. So, in terms of service availability, almost all hospitals have confirmed their service status with us and 85% are offering a full range of services. Further 11% are accepting non-urgent referrals with some limitations. This is mainly NHS facilities that are having to prioritise existing backlogs. The majority of consultants have also confirmed their service status with us and 98% are accepting new private patients. Wait times have extended a little bit. The average time from outpatient consultation to treatment increased from roughly 21 days pre-COVID to roughly 25 days more recently. But when compared to the waiting times in the NHS, this is really excellent. Finally, focusing on demand for remote services. Well, use of our direct access services in MSK, cancer and mental health recovered quite quickly, reaching prior year levels in June. And they're currently running at roughly 20% above prior year levels. Use of our digital GP service provided through Babylon continues to rise month on month. And then we rolled out that service to all customers at the start of the COVID crisis and usage has roughly doubled since then. And the take of our new remote dermatology and cardiac diagnostic pathways have been really impressive over the past month. So in summary, right now, despite the new lockdown and the developing second wave, customers continue to have good access to private healthcare services. Government has taken action much earlier in the cycle and it appears to already be slowing the spread of the virus, which is encouraging. So whilst I know it's dangerous to make predictions, 
I am cautiously optimistic that elective services for private customers will continue to be available during the next wave of COVID.